Globalization is the increased flow of trade, people, technology, culture, and ideas among countries. Some modern examples of globalization include automobile assembly and bringing a franchise over to a new country. Automobiles are made up of many different parts which may need to be imported from many different countries around the world. A recent example of a franchise being brought over to a new country is McDonald's going over to Japan. The effects of globalization are that trade between countries is increased, goods being sold at a lower cost, it creates jobs and raises standard of living, and grants the ability, the ability to access all medicine and technology. But not all of the effects of globalization are positive. The negative effects of globalization are the increased gap between developed and underdeveloped countries, low paying jobs in developing nations, spread of western culture, and environmental pollution. But globalization mainly helps underdeveloped countries to deal with the rest of the world increase their economic growth, solving their poverty problems in their country. But globalization also has a big impact on developed countries as well. In developed countries, businesses have to adapt to different strategies based on new trends that try to balance the rights and interests of both the individual and the community as a whole. Now to show you how globalization affects our daily lives, I will tell you just how many countries help to make a Land Rover in the United Kingdom. The parts that the UK already has to make the Land Rover include seat assembly, floor console, door trim panel, exhaust cold end, engine cooling, turbocharger, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning modules. But the UK imports the power steering system, fuel injector, engine block, and torque converter from Germany. The coolant hoses and body control module come from the Czech Republic. Exhaust manifold from Hungary, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning control panels from Ireland, the wiring protection system and front lighting from France, and finally, shock absorbers and struts from Poland. So that's seven countries contributing to the, to the assembly of- When you're in a store buying something, just think about what countries could have been involved to make that one item. And that is globalization. If you found this video helpful at all, please comment, like, and subscribe because it helps me create more content like content like this. And this may be different from my visual content because this was a school project. And I will see you guys in the next video.